Here's my dog, Zuma. Here's the couch crew. We have Enzo, Kayla, Zuma. We have a chair crew. They're so cute. Anyways. Action. Okay. So, okay. Take two. <laughs> you can see it do take two, three, four. It doesn't matter how many takes. You gotta talk uh, through the take. Oh <laughs> <laughs> my god. So, at the rehab facility, California Rehab, we have these two really cute dogs come in. And, and therapy. Gus, Gus therapy and Stanley. Gus and Stanley. It was the cutest ever. And after I left, I guess I heard that it was made into a program there. Oh. <laughs> She's like, oh, shit, boy. <laughs> They I had like, they, they were so fluffy. They were so fluffy. And they had all these like Crocs. They had like glasses yeah, and hats. Yeah. So it was really cute. Was super cute. I don't know if you were walking then, or maybe a little bit. You could like walk with a walker yeah. like, around the hall. I, think. I had um, my walker in wheelchair days. Mm -hmm. And your glasses with the tape. Yeah, yeah and you would get really emotional when they came in. <laughs> I remember I that period of time where anytime you met a new person, you would break into tears. <laughs> but they. But they said steroids make you really emotional. I think it was like that. I was at Waffle House in, in North Carolina, and this was obviously after my surgery. Oh my and the lady in there was very sweet. She gave me her hat, and it was a pink camel Waffle House hat, and I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, it's I was like bawling. I was like, why? <laughs> but it was super sweet, and I'll remember her forever. So shout out to her. Came back to New York. How long have you been here? Too long. <laughs> I don't know, like two like months, a month and a half? Yeah, I've been here longer than I ever was at college now. Oh, really? That's yeah, because I was at college for like 68 days. Yeah. I'll be back. And yeah, just taking a pause. So I came to New York, and since chemo and radiation and everything can affect fertility, my first step was egg freezing. That was not fun for me at all. You um, hated the shots. I am not a big needle person, so this whole experience has been... I've gotten used to my blood and IVs, but shots? That was rough. <laughs> so, basically doing that, it was three shots in my stomach. Hurt so bad. That was for every day for, what? Maybe a week. Maybe yeah. a little longer than a week? Yeah, a little bit longer than a week. And then, it was like a procedure. I was put under anesthesia, so I don't really obviously remember, but. That was literally on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Day mm -hmm. in Columbus Circle, <laughs> which is where the parade. the parade goes. What? It was like a CIA operation getting there. Yeah. So yeah. then you had you literally did your retrieval, yeah. came home and slept for like six or seven <laughs> hours, and then got up got dressed and then we had like a big Thanksgiving, posted mm -hmm. big Thanksgiving in our house and that was really great. And that was then, great. I embarrassed myself though. Because yeah. Jay said something really sweet and I started like, bawling. Toast. Oh, his toast was so great. I started bawling in front of everyone. And then the Monday after you started radiation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so the next week like, I started radiation. Go out with a bang. Like, that was a bang. Yeah. This was a good time. Here to like the first week of radiation. I still have hair, so I love that. Even though, so my left side doesn't work as well as my right side. Like if I, I, I guess like, I'm trying to like reference for like waving or, I don't know. <laughs> so it was like hard for me to like, t like put my hair up or do something because my left hand was a lot weaker yeah. too. So it was just more like, I don't even want to do anything with it, which I now regret because I don't have hair to do anything with it. <laughs> Um, but I braided it a few times. She, my sister did braid it. As seen those. on Thanksgiving. Check my Instagram. <laughs> Self promotion. Cut that out. At Sophia L. Strahan. <laughs> with a PH. So that was definitely different. And then radiation started. So I cut my hair probably, I would say like the end of the second week. In right the soon. middle of the night. Right. Yeah, and it was like 4 a.m. This was like midlife crisis. And you just like really wanted to cut it off at like 4 a.m. on like Wednesday? 
So you like called me in the middle of the night and I was like on FaceTime, you were just like shaving it off. Cause the radiation, like it starts to thin and just kind of fall out. I, I couldn't even like look at myself because it's just worse than probably not having hair. So it's definitely it's sad because it's been growing for what, I don't really, didn't really cut my hair. Yeah, 19 so, years. Yeah. I almost shaved my aunt in solidarity. No, she did not. <laughs> Your aunt did. Yeah, my, my aunt did. My, my aunt did. My friend. So it was sweet, but it actually it looks just like good. Like I thought it would look fine, but it actually looks like better yeah. than I anticipated. It's an adjustment, I would say. <laughs> but now she's like starting to like hate people with hair. So okay. hair hate. <laughs> hair I am. Hate. I am a hair hater. It bothers. Sometimes it's, she's it's, walking behind me, it'll just feel like tugs on my hair, and I turn around, <laughs> she's like glaring at it and like pulling it, and I feel like she's gonna cut it off in my sleep. Who thinks Sophia should shave her head? Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If your comment gets over two likes, she will do it. That's a <laughs> low bar. <laughs> Can we shave the dogs? Um, so you have a wig. Zuma, come. You have a wig, I but- I do have a wig and- You it's... almost seem like more comfortable without it. Yeah, I feel like it's a, I feel like it's just not my hair, which is- It looks really similar though. It, it looks similar. It's just hard, like when I've never expected to not have hair and I've always had hair to not have my own hair for now. It's temporary. I don't know, but catch me with short hair in 2024. <laughs> All your features are popping now. The cheekbones, the brows, the lips, the nose, like, you're stunningly beautiful. It's just kind of frustrating too, because now my look has changed as well. New hey, look. New <laughs> me, but new year, new me. New year, new me. And like, there's obviously a lot of changes, but I'll get back there with a new look eventually. And really, like, it feels so long, but it's not. It's two months. You're already two months in. Like, chemo, like, it's like six months, but like, yeah. So tomorrow's your last day of radiation. Tomorrow's my last I'm feeling this. Tuesday is my last day of radiation. Yay. So excited. Gonna ring that bell. Never thought I'd be ringing a bell, but I'll be ringing that bell. We have a celebratory brunch. Yeah. Thai. We have some Thai food. I love Thai food. And me and Sophia, like, last week painted my radiation mask as a cat with flowers on the side and it took us like an hour we yeah. really like put a lot of work into it it looks scary it's a little I'm scary <laughs> and then i get to keep that and maybe i'll frame it or hang it up who knows yeah and yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now just finishing radiation and i have a break before i start chemo mm -hmm. and then six months of that and then and good then, to go I'm gonna be moving awesome. can't be living at home as a 20 year old <laughs> okay, but is this not like the best time ever when you're eating home cooked meals? Yeah, it's great. I get to like, eat yummy food. Uh, no, I would pay to be here all the time. I know the Mira. perfect thing to do. Everyone go follow NYC Parm. Yes. <laughs> oh it's my God. food account where I put all my food. I'll be using that to document my food. P A R M. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify. But yeah, it's really nice to pump with meals and just be around like the dogs. And I don't know, it's like I'm gonna be sad when I leave tomorrow because she's leaving tomorrow to go back. I have to go back to school and I don't get any home cooked meals and I don't have mm -hmm. my dogs and I don't have a TV. And that's all that I do. Oh. <laughs> we watch TV all the time. Well you work out. We work out. It is crazy though how when you can't like, I can't really go to school right now, obviously, how much I wish I, like, I wish I could take her final exams <laughs> or, like, just go back to school. But yeah. that Soon. will change. Yeah. Soon come. We should do, like, an outro, like, if you're watching. Okay. Yeah. So we can just probably cut. Okay. Wait, is it going to be <laughs> outro? Is it? Okay, so that was my background story, where we are, where we're going, who we're going to be, who oh, we are. Yeah. Plans, there will be ideas, much more to come. Much more to come. And 